One more story about the, uh, the two brothers from the big city who were so excited it was going to be their, their first time to get out of town, and they were invited to go to the church camp. And their mom was excited, too. She went down to, to Goodwill, and she was able to find some, you know, big old pieces of beat-up luggage that these kids could have, and she, she brought them what she figured was kind of some kind of summer or camp kind of clothes and some, some used tennis shoes, and, and she even threw in a couple of bags of candy in each kid's uh, suitcase. So there they were standing in the church parking lot when we got the bad news. The leader said, the big bus is broke. All we got is the little bus. Now maybe tomorrow somebody will be able to come back and bring some more of these kids, but as it is right now, from each family, only one boy and one bag. <clears throat> so this little brother just burst into tears. And his big brother said, it's okay, it's okay, you go. And he said, no, 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 mom's not going to let me go. No, you, I can't go. Finally, his big brother said, come here. And he took his little brother behind the church there. And he took his brother's piece of luggage here, and he set it there by the garbage cans, and, and he opened his own bigger bag, and he dumped that right in the dumpster. Everything was treasures that his mom, you know, spent her past ten last penny to buy for the, for the kid. He dumped out his whole suitcase, and he put it flat on the ground, and he said to his little brother, get in and keep quiet. <laughs> he could hardly pick that thing up. But there he came, back around the corner of the church again. Oh, and he trudged his way right up onto that bus and gently put down that bus. <clears throat> Love. What was Jesus' shoulder in his love for me? What a brother. Jesus is now too, we know your love only in part. But we will know you fully, even as you today fully know us and still love us without end. Let us at last, Lord, be welcomed by your love as we see you face to face. And even now, let us see your love reflected in your people. We ask it in your name, for your glory, Jesus. Amen. God bless and keep you, friends, as you hang on to the risen Savior. Amen. We have all kinds of prayers on our little insert there. Folks that uh, need your prayers through the week. And if you were here earlier, you heard me mention that... Um, the anchor of our Saturday service, the Lord has called home to himself. You know, so we're going to miss Val, Val Hines here. Um, every week telling me, it's all right, Pastor. I didn't even ask him how he was. He'd say, it's all right, Pastor. <laughs> well, I'm glad it finally is all right for Val, but I know your hearts are broken. We miss him, and, and we are too. So we want to be praying for uh, Bev and uh, Jim. Val's kids and uh, fine, right? And all those, all those grieving here together. Um, I've got the uh, details of the uh, memorial on Monday at the pond on that prayer page. Are there other prayers too, friends, that you would like to add this evening? <coughs> Good to see Barb here too. Oh, I brought Val. He wasn't driving anymore, I guess. Any other prayers tonight? You need to say. Let's stand as we pray. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you are the Lord of love. We thank you in these epiphany days for the light of your love shining. We see who you are, the little one born into this world, growing up with these amazing works of love, growing up and moving forward, pressing deliberately onto a cross that all the world would know your love. Let us rejoice, Lord, at what you did. Let us 
Rejoice, Lord, in what you do for us as you call us forward to carry our cross and to live with your love. Forgive us our lovelessness. Remind us of your amazing heart that we may be remade more and more in your image. Give to us the gift of our baptism. Lord, in your mercy. We do pray, Lord, for those who come to you for protection, those who need help and the violence and the despair and the poverty of this world. We do pray for good government and for peaceable times. Lord, in your mercy. And for each of us in our brokenness in our personal lives, whether that's in our bodies, in our, in our broken hearts, in our families, in need of your healing love. We join with those praising you and seeking your continued healing, including Larry, Jean, Frank, Erica, Anthony, Anna, Tim, Rita, Jean, Jim, Annika, Janora, Larry, Karen, Chuck, and Norma, for Takako and Pete, Shirley, Millie, Mark, and Jan, for Sandy. We ask, Lord, that you'd heal the hearts of those grieving with Lorraine for her cousin Joyce, for all of us grieving with Bev and Jim and, and the family and Barb, all of us grieving for your splendid servant Val. We thank you that you did share his love and his faith with us for so long, that he was such a blessing to us here at Concordia and in so many places. We thank you for your servant, Lord, and ask that you would mend our hearts as we look forward with Val, as he always did. We look forward to everything being all right in your nail-pierced hand, welcoming us home. Comfort us, risen Jesus, Lord, in your mercy. In your own we thank you that you are here again to feed us, the risen one, with your own body and blood in this sacramental bread and wine. <coughs> to join us in your feast of love with those who have gone before us to the feast that knows no end. So, Lord, strengthen our faith. Hear this, hear all the prayers we lift to the Father, praying what you have taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we give us now to the continues then on the back of the worship page. We lift up our hearts in reverence. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord, our God. It is proper and right so to do. It is truly good and healing that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all of our companions, now in heaven, we rejoice in your holy name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of angel armies, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, help us from the heights of heaven. He gives us bliss. He who comes in the name of the Lord. Our Lord Jesus, that very night he was betrayed, took the Passover bread, and when Jesus had thanked his heavenly Father, he broke that bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this as often as you eat it in remembrance of me. In the same way, Jesus took the cup after the Seder supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave that to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This cup is the New Testament. My blood, this shed for you, the forgiveness of your sin. Do this as often as you drink it, remembering me. We grasp the Lamb of God. O Christ, Christ the Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. 
O Christ, the gentle Lamb God sent, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Christ, the sacrifice Lamb, who is God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. I'd like those in the first three pews to come forth for our Lord's gift, and then the back three will follow. And we'll see if we can fit the side in, in one table at the end. My friends, we'll have to double up a little bit. Welcome to our Lord Jesus table. Here and take and eat the true body of the risen Jesus. Let him give him sorrow for you. He has forgiven us full and free of for the body of the risen one more. Our Lord Jesus promises, this is my body for you. He saves us all for the forgiveness of your sins in the body of Christ. Thank you, Lord. This is the true body of Jesus. Let him give us the true body of the forgiveness of your sins in the body of Christ. Should take the forgiveness of your sins. own body and blood, the risen Lord, the Lord of love, here strengthens you in your faith to life everlasting. Go with Jesus' peace. Amen. Amen.
you and your resurrection faith, even for life everlasting. Love by him, go with him. thanks on the uh, back of the bulletin from Luke 2 we give God thanks Lord now let your servant depart in peace as your word promised for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all people a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. We'll give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with his good favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen. We're going to turn to him 729, 729. I am trusting thee, Lord Jesus, 729. We're going to sing the first and the last stanza. And i got to tell you, these three that sneak out at the, uh, right after communion, that's because um, Marlene's got to get back to her, uh, her sister's living or she misses supper. <laughs> they love you, okay? Anybody here doesn't know that. If they're not mad, they love you. They just got to not miss supper. So 729, we're singing stanzas one and six, the last one. Yes. Yeah. 